So today I didn't really have anything to film, so I decided it to be a good time to finally do my Q&A that I promised two weeks ago. Okay, so I'm just gonna go down the list on my YouTube thing, and I guess the first question is by Will. <laughs> uh, it's, what happened with your accident? We never knew what happened. So it was a Wednesday afternoon, I was driving up to school because I came home because it was Valentine's Day. So I was halfway there when, or in the middle of the highway, I don't know if it was parked, broken down or what, I never actually got to find out. I wasn't able to get out of the way fast enough and I ended up hitting him from the rear. So my car got totaled, his car just got, it was a Durango so I went right underneath the thing. So his car just needed some repairs. It was, it was my daily, so it was an 06 Saturday on it. It wasn't anything crazy. Um, the whole thing smashed. My car got completely totaled, I ended up Tearing my knee open all the way down to the bone is cut. I have a huge scar on my knee that goes all the way up. Um, I did a lot of good damage to my knee. Uh, I got a really, really good concussion. I was out for a while. I ended up breaking, uh, I didn't, so I actually didn't break my wrist. I dislocated, I don't know if you guys can see the scars. But I ended up dislocating a bone in my wrist and it took all the ligaments with it. And so I tore a lot of ligaments in my wrist. My wrist is all messed up and still, it's gonna be a while until it's good, but it's been a long, it's been a long um, healing process, but it's going good and I'm happy. Finally starting to move out of it. So that's the accident. So whose car were you in and what car was it? Like I said before, it was, it was actually, it was my daily and it was 06 Saturn Ion. Um, okay, yeah, so that's about it about the accident. Um, there's not really much to it. It was a shitty situation that I got stuck in. Um, but next question, still by Will, what's Brennan's 1.8 Miata? doing in the shop. So, Brennan's shop, if you've seen it, it's just in the back of my shop under a bunch of stuff. It's blown up, I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but Orion generally pays part of the lease to keep her, um, gotta come in and speak. Orion generously pays a good part of the lease to keep me out of there, so it works out really well for us, it doesn't take up much space. It allows us to be able to have this shop with just a couple dudes, so shout out to Orion. Hopefully it'll be fixed, Brendan. I don't even know how to pronounce. Tata Sakaluaskas. That's I butchered. That was bad. Okay, whatever. Can you tell us about all your cars you had and which one was your favorite? So, when I first got in the cars, well, my first car was a Saturn SC2. It was like a '92. It was it was standard. It was a piece of crap, but my stepdad gave it to me at the time, and I loved it. It was a free car. You know, you always love your first car. From there, I saved up for a long time working at a bike shop. I got my Mark IV Jetta, which is a VR6 like standard Jetta and you know a lot of kids start with the Volkswagens a lot I had a lot of Volkswagen influence so I had my Jetta put rims and coils on that thought it was cool and then I got that actually got rear-ended so I ended up buying myself a Mark IV GLI which is just basically the nicer version of the car I had previously did it all up and I loved it I got really sick of it and then I sold that and I got my Z and then from there my Z was a whole bunch of headaches and then I got you know, my Saturn daily, I had a Mazda 626 as a daily, and now I have my Subaru and my S13. I love my, like, I think so far my S13 has been by far my favorite car I've ever owned. It's just so much fun. All right, um, next question, I guess. Um, I hope the shadowing is good. I'm sorry if the shadowing is really bad. It looks like my eyes are really dark, but whatever. Um, what happened to the built motor and the new S13 you bought? So, I bought the car on a limb. Um, I wasn't too smart about it. I was very excited about it. I had a, my new car came with a lot of really nice parts in it. I have receipts for everything. It it was re basically restored top to bottom in terms of getting the whole car underbody, new bushings, new lines, everything. And that was really the big selling point for me. Having a built R was just a built SR was just a plus for me. So I get the car, I take it home, I try to get it running better, and all of a sudden it doesn't want to start. Can't figure it out. I went to go change plugs because you know when you having. Misfire issues, you usually go straight for the plugs. And um, I pull up plug number two, it was squished. I look in the chamber and there was two valves sitting in the chamber. So I don't know if it was because the dude went crazy built with stock valves or whatever, but it's whatever. I was able to sell a lot of parts off of the car that I didn't really care for to get a lot of my money back. And I ended up with a gorgeous cage car, so I'm very happy. What's next? Any plans to see Adam soon from Jared88? Um, yes, I will actually be seeing Adam today, the video, the, the day the video drops. So you'll be seeing a lot of footage with me and Adam hopefully throughout the next month. Um, I'm very excited to be with him. You know, he's one of my best friends and I haven't seen him in a long time. So stay tuned. So from 
Evan Hunt, I know this question has been asked by a lot of people, but what is going on with the 3NZX? So, the 3NZX is currently, it's fully together, fully running. It's been since July, since early July, actually, of last year. Um, it is parked in my girlfriend's extra garage bay. I just store it there. Um, I haven't been driving it much. I haven't really been too motivated to drive it lately. I've been too having too much fun with my S13. I can't keep it down here at the shop because I don't have enough room. So I keep it there and it's, oh, there's so much to say about it. I don't know. So I keep it at my, my girlfriend's garage um, just so it's out of the way. And the fact that it's kind of out of the way to get it, I don't really tend to go pick it up a lot. Um, I've been meaning to get down there. It's just, um, it just my motivation for the S chassis has just been so much higher lately, so I haven't cared to go look at it. When it when honestly when it comes down to it, um, anyone that owns a Z32 knows they're very 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 expensive cars, and they're very they're pretty hard to get parts for it. Unlike an S chassis, everything's super cheap, everything's super easy, and I do not have a large budget right now. I never really I never had a large budget. I saved up for a long time to do that swap, and I did it with very minimum. Um, with very minimal money, I guess. Um, it's a very, I don't know, if you, if you guys watch it, you realize it's a very stock motor. It's a very clean setup. There's nothing fancy about it. I did it on the very low ends and it came out great. I'm very happy with it, but God forbid anything breaks. I literally can't even afford to fix it right now. So I just graduated college. I'm in between trying to find a job right now. So hopefully when I get a job, I'll have more money to get into the Z. I'll be driving it more. I won't be scared of it, I guess is the way to put it. Um, I know that's probably not a really good answer. You guys don't want to hear it, but it's true. Um, honestly, it comes down to the Z is still very basic. There's a lot I want to do to it, and it honestly kills me that I can't. Uh, I don't know, uh, really. And it's nice, like, with the S chassis, you could. I don't have to worry about if it gets scratched, if it gets scented. I don't really care. It's a drift car, so I built it for with the with the Z. I'm very anal about it, so I have to, like, any little thing that happens to it freaks me out and it just causes so much anxiety for me. And as, so I guess a simple answer after me rambling forever is just saying I'm not ready, I'm not financially ready to be playing around with that car. So, all right, next question is by Cody Murray. Um, how did you meet Haggard? I actually met Haggard when Adam came up one time last year i think it was last year and he was like hey hacker guys from connecticut they're not that far from your house you want to go hang out with them and i was like hell yeah why not um i never really watched their videos ever i just kind of knew their name from you know car shows turn around so we went down and so i met them that day with adam and then i hit him up maybe a few weeks later we hung out a few times and things just happened and now we share a bay next to each other and we're good friends so that's that I guess another big comment has to pertain with the Z. Um, what happened to the Z build videos? Um, that's not the most easy question, I guess, in the world. Uh, the Z videos, um, when it came down to it, I really did not enjoy filming the series. I had a really good time with my friends, don't get me wrong, friends filming those. I had a, I had a, it was a really fun experience. It was, I, I loved putting the cut together that car. I mean, that's, that was like my dream project. Um, I love building cars. I'm a builder when it comes down to it and filming it really took the fun out of it. Um, it was really stressful to make sure you always got an angle, you always got to film what you're doing. I wasn't able just to sit alone in my garage with the music going at night and just do my thing like I usually do. So honestly, when it comes down to it, I kinda, I never had the motivation for the series. I love the feedback from everyone. I, I appreciated it so much. It was so great to have people so supportive on the build. It was just, like I said, during the time I just wasn't enjoying it. I was. I wasn't, I guess like, I guess in all sense, I wasn't in the my, right mindset that summer either. I was having a rough time. Um, I was, I was a little, that summer I got a little, I guess down is the way to say it. Um, and I just kind of got discouraged on a lot of things and the videos were just one of them and I just never got to finish it. And then by the time all that happened, before I knew it, school started and then when I was, I just graduated from school, and, uh, but last semester was my, my senior year, and senior year was really crazy. I went to school for uh, engineering, so it wasn't, it wasn't, like I had a lot of free time, so I never really ended up getting back to it. But, yeah, I think I, I still have enough footage left to finish the video. I didn't finish it the way I probably should have. Um, I didn't really do a final 
So I didn't really do a final buttoning up video, but I still have some footage left. If you guys would like to see it, I'll throw that footage together and make what's left of that video, at least before I do a full walk around now. So let me know if you guys would like to see that, because I'll totally edit that together one night. So, yeah. Uh, t I, I guess two other questions that I keep seeing and a lot of people ask. Um, a lot of people ask what wheels are on my S13 and what wheels are on my BMW, um, and what wheels are on my WRX. Um, on my S13, they're Work CRKI reps. They're made by Vardovan, I believe. Um, they're 17 by 9 plus, I don't know. And my WRX, they're Work Equipped 5 reps, I believe. Um, and those are made by Varstones, and those are 18 by 9 plus 22, I believe. So, um,. Yeah, I guess that's just the top comments I see now. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Sorry for me rambling on so much. But if you guys have any more questions, let me know. I wouldn't mind you another Q&A if I missed anything. So I hope you enjoyed this video. So yeah, stay tuned for more content. Please like, subscribe, and that's all I can think of. But I will see you guys later.